welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the best show stopping numbers to ever grace the Grammy Awards stage. Number 30, Alanis Morissette, You Oughta Know. The word performance doesn't quite do this number justice. It's more like a confessional. In lieu of dramatic staging or flashy choreography, Alanis Morissette just sits on a stool, opens her mouth, and lets You Oughta Know sing for itself. Does she speak eloquently? And would she have your baby? To say it paid off would be putting it lightly. Morissette's signature vocal fry ensures the ballad hits all the right emotional notes and more. Then again, by the time she performed, Morissette had already won two Grammys that night. She'd go on to win another two that evening, including Album of the Year. With all that in mind, it's no wonder this jagged little pill goes down smoothly. Number 29, Ricky Martin, The Cup of Life. From the moment Ricky Martin makes his over the top entrance, it's clear that Grammy audiences are in for something special. Now is the time. As if to prove it, this performance almost single-handedly turned Martin from an underground hit into a household name. And for good reason. Everything from the vocals to the instrumentation to Martin's own physicality brims with just the right amount of flair. At a certain point, you can practically feel how much fun they're having. In fact, Martin's performance left such a strong impression, it's often credited for helping popularize Latin music worldwide. Considering its long-lasting impact on the industry, a standing ovation is definitely in order. Number 28, Annie Lennox and Hozier. I put a spell on you, take me to church. It's really saying something when Hozier's Grammy-nominated Take Me to Church is only the appetizer to the main event. During the final verse of his performance, legendary soul singer Annie Lennox joins in for a dazzling assist. If those harmonies somehow don't cut it, the number then transitions into a once-in-a-lifetime rendition of I Put a Spell on You. As you'd expect from a name like that, the results are practically enchanting. The way Lennox controls her voice, the stage, and the crowd all at once is truly a marvel to behold. Grammy or no Grammy, this chill-inducing duet is one for the history books. Number 27, Kesha, Camila Cabello, Cyndi Lauper, Julia Michaels, Andra Day, and BB Rexa, Praying. Based on the lineup of talent, this performance is unskippable on precedent alone. Kesha assembled a powerhouse of female vocalists, both up-and-comers and industry veterans, to surround her as she took to the stage for Praying. Cause you brought the flames and you put me through hell I had to learn how to fight for myself And yes, it's as jaw-dropping as it sounds. Kesha's empowered singing is the very definition of stirring, especially when supported by a chorus of her peers. By the time they all join in for some electric harmonies, we'd bet there wasn't a single dry eye left in the audience. The Grammys have seen a lot of moving acts over the years, but this group interpretation of praying is one that will never be replicated. Number 26, Billie Eilish, Happier Than Ever. No amount of set decoration or impressive effects can distract from how effortlessly Billie Eilish rocks a live performance. Thanks to her unshakable vocals, this iteration of Happier Than Ever has both style and substance to spare. Do you read my There's thunder, there's lightning, there's actual rain, and there's more raw emotion than we've ever seen from Eilish before. She delivers each lyric with so much composure, it's hard to decide whether you should respectfully watch on or rock out alongside her. The answer is actually both, or at least that's what the Grammys audience decided, waiting until the final note to burst into a deserving roar of applause. 
Number 25. Melissa Etheridge and Joss Stone, Peace of My Heart It's hard to imagine any one song could ever sum up the legacy of someone like Janis Joplin. And yet, this rousing tribute comes pretty darn close. Joss Stone's impeccable belt has all the gravitas you'd expect from a performance of this magnitude. But when paired with Melissa Etheridge's signature raspiness, the song goes from great to iconic. The key to its success is that, despite the tragic circumstances, neither singer dips into melodrama. Stone and Etheridge didn't remember Janis Joplin with a eulogy. They honored her with a full-on, Grammy-style celebration. We can't think of a higher note to go out on. Number 24. Kendrick Lamar and Imagine Dragons – Mad City – Radioactive At the start, you'd be forgiven for thinking this is a solo act. After all, Imagine Dragons are already stealing the show with Radioactive when, out of nowhere, Kendrick Lamar appears in a plume of smoke. Of course, he comes with a few beats of his own, too. Cue one of the sickest raps in Grammy history. Radioactive and Mad City don't seem like they'd mesh well together, but somehow the songs mix into a high-energy beat that has the whole room on their feet. The message is loud and clear. This is the collaboration none of us knew we needed. Number 23. Aretha Franklin – Nessun Dorma Minutes into the 40th annual Grammy Awards, one of their planned performers felt seriously ill. But as they say, the show must go on. The Grammys needed someone who could deliver a broadcast-level performance with a split-second notice. Within my heart, my secret AKA, they needed Aretha Franklin. Moments later, the Queen of Soul stepped on stage and showed everyone why she's one of the best. Keep in mind, Nessun Dorma is an opera song, and the arrangement wasn't written in her key either. It's a true testament to Franklin's natural talent that, despite those hurdles, you still can't tell this is unrehearsed. Suffice it to say, Aretha Franklin earned a whole lot of respect that night. Number 22. Christina Aguilera, Lil' Kim, Maya, and Pink with Patti LaBelle and Missy Elliott, Lady Marmalade. In 2001, Moulin Rouge brought together four of the best singers in the business for an inspired take on Lady Marmalade. Hey, sister, go, sister, so, sister, flow, sister, oh. hey, sister, go, sister, so, sister, go, sister. At the following Grammys, Christina Aguilera, Lil' Kim, Maya, and Pink reunited for a performance that deserves to be seen for itself. The incomparable energy of this live act puts the studio version to shame. <laughs> Especially since they got Missy Elliott and Patti LaBelle to join in, the latter of whom appears in the second half just to show off. Not that we're complaining. Altogether, the 44th Grammy Awards were treated to a musical tour de force that you won't find anywhere else. Number 21. LL Cool J, Queen Latifah, Busta Rhymes, Missy Elliott, and many, many more. 50 Years of Hip Hop In order to properly celebrate half a century of the hip hop genre, the Grammys brought out all of the stops. And we do mean all of them. Across the near 15-minute spectacle, several iconic hip-hop artists hit the stage, including Run DMC, Ice-T, salt and Peppa, Method Man… you get the point. Seriously, we'd be here all day if we listed them all. The medley is a total embarrassment of riches, showcasing the very best that hip-hop has to offer. Whether you're an old-school fan or a total newbie, there's a little bit for everyone here. It's
after such a mesmerizing achievement, we're confident saying no one will be forgetting hip hop anytime soon. Number 20. Shania Twain Man, I Feel Like a Woman The best part of performing at the Grammys is the prerogative to have a little fun. And this prominent country artist did just that. Let's go, girls. Rocking a striking outfit and plenty of personality, Twain boasts an arresting control of the stage that has the audience in an uproar before the song even hits the chorus. Feel like a woman. With an assist from an equally energetic band and an impossibly catchy tune, there's simply no denying this number's pure, stylish fun. It's also an incredibly fitting song choice for the ceremony dubbed the Grammy Year of Women, since every artist nominated for Album of the Year was female. Twain herself was up for the prestigious award, and after a showing like this, we see why. Number 19. The White Stripes – Seven Nation Army – Death Letter It's impossible not to tap your toe to the legendary opening riff of this musical duo's trademark anthem, but the song itself isn't even the best part of this bold act. While the seamless transition into the heavier death letter is also a highlight, what really steals the show is when the lyrics fade out entirely. In an unforgettable sequence, the garage rock band treats us to a guitar and drum duet that's up there with some of the greatest rock and roll performances of all time. It's a headbanging number that rests not just on the excellent songs, but the musical talents of its artists. Number 18. Gorillaz, Madonna, and De La Soul – Feel Good Inc. – Hung Up It shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone that the queen of pop always delivers, but when you back her up with the virtual band Gorillaz and throw in rap trio De La Soul for good measure, you have the recipe for an iconic performance. Madonna struts the stage like she owns it, and the stellar mashup of her ABBA-inspired hit with Feel Good Inc. matches her electric enthusiasm. It's impossible to look away as the pop icon gives it her all, dancing first amid the virtual projections, then live dancers. Number 17. Amy Winehouse – You Know I'm No Good Rehab. Before she'd take home Record of the Year later in the evening, this soulful singer delivered a combo of her iconic hits without the benefit of the official Grammys stage. Broadcasting live from London didn't seem to slow her down one bit, though, and her signature vocal flair proved she was worthy of her future honor. There's an authentic quality to Winehouse's delivery that elevates any of her performances, although in this case, the snazzy costumes and jazz aesthetic didn't hurt either. It seems she didn't need the Grammy audience to hype her up, although we'd expect nothing less from someone with this much talent. Number 16. Beyonce – Love Draught – Sandcastles to call this nine-minute sensory spectacle memorable would be a major understatement. Dazzling costumes, powerful direction, and Beyoncé's unmatched vocals are just the start. There's an undeniable cinematic quality here that single-handedly raised the bar for what a musical performance could be. If all that wasn't impressive enough, she accomplished all of this while pregnant with twins. The focus on motherhood is inspiring, especially given her candid costume and intimate expression of love. It's ambitious in every sense of the word, and we may never see anything quite like it grace the Grammy stage ever again. Number 15. Eric Clapton – Tears in Heaven 
Most would take the Grammys as an opportunity to take a live show to the next level, but in a night full of bombastic performances, it's the reserved ones that truly stand out. Letting the music speak for itself, Clapton and company sit solemnly, playing with the brutal sadness the song deserves. If I saw you in Clapton decidedly avoids any stage antics that would take away from the emotional weight of the song, especially considering the many preceding losses in Clapton's life that inspired it. Always the epitome of class, the tuxedo-clad Clapton nails every note and ends the song with a quick little bow, skipping the usual accolades, which, although deserved, would damage the effect of the performance. I don't Number 14, Prince and Beyonce, Purple Rain, Baby I'm a Star, Let's Go Crazy, Crazy in Love. It's a treat any time either of these legendary artists take the stage, but that's nothing compared to when you put them together. Only wanna see, see that, the purple rain. Their collaboration at the 2004 ceremony is everything we wanted and more. With all the style, flair, and personality, befitting a union of two of the industry's top players. Their harmonies at the end of Purple Rain are iconic enough, but amazingly, the number continues to top itself again and again with each transition before culminating in a final stretch that's downright cathartic. The medley is an excellent blend of each artist's style, but with this much raw stage power, we would have been happy even if they sang Happy Birthday. Number 13, Mariah Carey, If It's Over. The 1992 Grammys showcased this acclaimed five-octave singer at her absolute best. Her expert navigation of each riff, breath, and belt is a masterclass of musical technique. But beyond the impressive technical aspects, lies an emotionally charged expression that has weight behind each note and movement. There's an impeccable buildup and release that rests solely on Carrie's shoulders, but she proved up to the task with a staggering display of talent and skill. This is more than just a vocally complex number. It's a true performance, and in under four minutes, manages to encompass why Carrie is one of the greats. Number 12, Bruce Springsteen, Dave Grohl, and Elvis Costello, London Calling. When a monumentally influential artist dies, it sends ripples through the music world, but it also unites people in the industry. When The Clash's Joe Strummer died, the punk world lost a giant, but when it came time to honor him, the result was intense. With the ferocity of fellow Brit Elvis Costello, the youthful energy of Dave Grohl, and passionate delivery by Bruce Springsteen, the performance had enough grit and attitude to make the late strummer proud. Springsteen's appearance made the tribute all the more touching, as he was both heavily inspired and admired by the late strummer, making Springsteen the ideal artist to give this grandfather of punk a final send-off. Number 11, Christina Aguilera, It's a Man's 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 World. Once the fog clears on Aguilera's entrance, there's a refreshing simplicity to the proceedings. No dancing, no elaborate lighting, just Aguilera, her voice, and a spectacular tribute to the legendary James Brown. There's no need for anything else when her physicality and commanding vocals fill up the auditorium. Matching the intense power of Brown's hit single, it's clear even before she falls to her knees that Aguilera is giving it her all. Powerful is the word that comes to mind here, especially for the final note that takes bringing the house down to new heights. Number 10, Beyonce and Tina Turner. Proud Mary. It would be pretty hard to top a live performance dancing with your husband, but a duet with your idol might just do the trick. After giving a tribute to all the talented women that inspired her career, Beyonce introduces Turner as the magical woman who embodied everything they stood for. Stand on your feet and give it up for the queen. 
returning the favor, Turner calls her back on stage to duet on Proud Mary with a contagious sense of fun flowing from the stage. Looking on like a proud mother, Turner belts her heart out as Beyonce does all she can to impress her. Thanks to some epic dance moves and an over-the-top back-and-forth performance, with the pair perfectly in sync from top to bottom, this showstopper was a perfect passing of the torch. Number 9. Kanye West and Daft Punk – Stronger, Hey Mama Say what you will about his ego, but when it comes to putting on a performance, few can hold a candle to Kanye West. West starts his set on a somber note, performing a bare-bones rendition of Hey Mama in tribute to his recently deceased mother. Mama, you know I love you so. I never let you go. After wiping away the tears, West switches to party mode going right into Stronger. But this version has a twist. Instead of just rapping over his original sample, West does one better, getting the real Daft Punk to perform alongside him instead, with their tour pyramid along for the ride. The club-style neon lighting and West's glow-in-the-dark-inspired attire made this a complete package worthy of Grammy history. Number 8. Radiohead – 15 Step It's impressive what some bands can do with access to just a little extra production value. When it came time to perform 15 Step, Radiohead didn't go for theatrics or parlor tricks to take their set to the next level. Instead, they decided to enhance the song itself. Enlisting the help of a college marching band for a drumline, brass, and additional vocals, they took a simple song and fleshed it out to make something unbelievably brilliant. With some creepy yet hypnotic dance moves from Tom York, impressive choreography by the already busy musicians, and a set that kept the sound at the forefront, this performance let Radiohead show what they can do with some musical assistance. Number 7. Kendrick Lamar – The Blacker the Berry – All Right, Untitled 3 Kendrick Lamar is no stranger to shocking Grammy performances, so when he wanted to send a message across the country, he knew where to do it. When Lamar shuffled on stage in rags, it was clear something distinctly different was happening. Once I finish this, if you listen, then sure you will agree. Been feeling this way since I was 16. Come to my senses. Lamar starts his medley in a prison scene, chained along with his inmates and band playing from their cells, immediately making his message loud and clear. Telling the African-American story, the performance is blunt and visceral, going from prison to a tribal bonfire. Every line echoes with the pain in Lamar's heart, and he spits each verse with reckless abandon, closing on a picture of Compton written on a map of Africa, leaving viewers with a lot to think about. Number 6. Daft Punk, Stevie Wonder, Pharrell Williams, and Nile Rodgers – Get Lucky Daft Punk are about as mysterious as it comes, but it still seemed a little strange when they didn't show up on stage for their second TV performance ever. But after a groovy opening by Pharrell, Stevie Wonder, and Nile Rodgers, the robots appear from behind the veil to carry the song into its next chorus, dropping samples from throughout their career along the way. The set switches to a party when they start mixing in Rogers' track Le Freak and Wonders Another Star, turning it into the most impassioned jam session between artists ever to see the stage. Thanks to the contagiously fun collaboration and musicianship, the track was one that got everyone dancing, from Beyonce to the Beatles. Number 5. Pink – Glitter in the Air Even for an artist known for pushing the envelope, we think she outdid herself here. What begins as a stirring ballad soon grows into an empowering, innovative anthem as Pink strips nearly naked and hangs from the ceiling. Have you ever thrown a fistful of glitter in the air? 
Impressively, she maintains smooth vocals even as she's dipped in water and is left spinning mid-air. As technically impressive as it is captivating to behold, this act is a testament to the artist's unwavering creative spirit that defines why she's so popular to this day. Lyrical, dazzling, and historic, it's safe to say no one ever has, or will, dangle and sing as well as this. Number 4. Eminem and Elton John – Stan Some collaborations don't have to make sense, they just work. Eminem's dark and disturbing Stan had enough story and visual lyrics alone to make it notable, but some artists are never satisfied. Dear Slim, I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. I left my cell, my pager, and my home phone at the bottom. Eminem's performance mixes music video recreations with theatrics to make the song come to life in a whole new way. He doesn't stop there, though. At the first chorus, right when the Dido sample should come in, a curtain comes up revealing Elton John at the piano, both playing the instrumental and singing the vocals. But she's gone cold and It made for a show-stopping performance from a collaboration that no one expected, outdoing the original song in one swoop. Number 3. Adele, Rolling in the Deep If you have one of the most recognizable singles in decades, it's sometimes best to just give the crowd what they want. Hitting the stage in style, Adele turned back time and gave a performance like a classic crooner. Opening on a beautiful a cappella intro, the lights drop before revealing a full band and backup singers to fill out the sound on an already huge track. Adele stays center stage behind her mic stand the entire song, but doesn't let that stop her from commanding the crowd and putting every ounce of emotion into the performance, nailing every note along the way. Number 2. Whitney Houston – I Will Always Love You We could fill a whole list of Houston's Grammy appearances alone. But if we had to choose just one, there's no question which is the greatest. In a performance nothing less than extraordinary, Houston's enchanting voice makes it seem like the song was written for her. That is all I am taking with me. Just when you think she's at the edge of her range, she effortlessly belts out another chorus with enough conviction to leave your jaw clean on the floor. But the song only continues to swell, and even after all these years, the mesmerizing finale never fails to give us chills. After a performance like that, a standing ovation doesn't feel like enough. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Michael Jackson – The Way You Make Me Feel – Man in the Mirror Leave it to the king of pop to deliver the best show the stage has seen for decades to come. Opening on his infamous dance moves to a swung version of The Way You Make Me Feel, Jackson doesn't stop moving, using the entire stage, often all by himself. After a moonwalking solo that blows his fellow dancers out of the water, Jackson switches to a seemingly minimalist rendition of Man in the Mirror. But when Michael arrives at the key change, the song hits its climax as a full gospel choir joins in, and Jackson delivers one last memorable moment, falling to his knees and belting out the remainder of this 10-minute long epic, cementing him in Grammy history. What's your favorite Grammy performance of all time? Let us know if it made our list in the comments below. Sugar. 
Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.